I'm Michelle Faber. I'm a novelist. I'm here in Amoeba Records, and I've got lots and lots of things. First one, I'm 54, so I grew up in, in the heyday of vinyl. And in those days, I assumed that vinyl was going to be around forever, and that if I got rid of an album, I could just walk around the corner and get it again if I so chose. So I got rid of an awful lot of albums that I wasn't, I didn't feel I was playing often enough. And one of the albums I got rid of was Lotus by Santana. With hindsight, um, this is such an extraordinary package um, with all these, at the time, very, very trendy um, Hare Krishna graphics. So I feel that just purely from an aesthetic point of view, the, um, just the idea of an album as a book is, is something that we've lost. And I want to, to honor that by getting that back. This is presumably a Dutch or Belgian goth or sort of dark, dark folk group, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm Dutch myself and it's called Satanische Vrede, which means satanic peace. And one of the tracks is called Kraaien op het veld, which means crows in the field, typical dark folk title. Then there's uh, Verkracht door demonen, which means, well, it could mean overpowered by demons. It could also mean raped by demons. So for 7.99, who knows? This, um, this is going to look like self-promotion, but it really isn't. Um, this, this is the soundtrack of the movie that was made of my novel Under the Skin. The novel uh, is very, very different from the movie, but uh, the director, Jonathan Glazer, did an extraordinary adaptation of it with um, Scarlett Johansson playing the lead character. That's, that's her absorbed by the, the universe there. And I, I already, having seen the film, I know that the soundtrack, which is by a woman called Mika Levy, Mika Levy, I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name, is wonderful, absolutely terrific. So um, I know it seems like a plug, but it isn't. I'm going to, to enjoy this for its own sake. This is Judy Collins. Who knows where the time goes? Come the storms of winter and then the birds in spring again. I do not fear the time. There are lots and lots of copies of this Judy Collins LP in Amoeba. I'm having this partly because it's a dollar and partly because it's an extraordinary cover with these eyes that she's got, these, these immense, luminous eyes. I also like the fact that she's got a slightly imperfect nose because we're now, we're now living in an age when all the females that are being marketed as, as musicians have this impossible perfection, either surgically created or photoshopped. And it's, it's just nice to have a, a picture of a beautiful woman who is naturally beautiful, but who's got human features. You know, she's got a human nose and human lips and nothing um, surgical has been done to her. So I like to be reminded of, of that era of, of music making. Now, we've, we've run out of the vinyl now. This is Bill Cosby Talks to Kids About Drugs, remixed by DJ Female Convict Scorpion. Here comes the dope pusher. He's got a bag of things that he will say will make you feel beautiful. Heroin, cocaine. 
Now, if anybody out there imagines that I would have come into the store looking for this particular item written down on a shopping list, they uh, credit me with, with more avant-garde chops than I've got. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I'm told that this is someone who comes from Chicago or San Francisco and who has actually done some of these remixes in store. But I'm just curious what she's going to be doing with, with Bill Cosby's talks to kids about drugs. Next, this is a CD by Andrew Lyles. This is a man I've been collaborating with lately. We've done some projects together. Now, he's a very interesting musician. He's a member of Nurse With Wound, the, the modern incarnation of, of Nurse With Wound. And he's been kind enough to send me a few of his CDs, but I, I feel that um, I've imposed on his generosity enough, and uh, I'm curious to investigate this one, which has a creepy cover, and the way to my heart is creepy covers, so sold. This is um, the Myths Collection. In the 1980s, there were a series of LPs called Myths, which featured people like William Burroughs, the Hafler Trio, uh, Genesis P. Orridge, Camberwell Now, who were the group formed after this heat imploded. And I loved all that stuff, and I had the LPs. Um, but this seems to be a collection of the cream of stuff from those LPs. And much as I love vinyl, sometimes when you crank the vinyl up, the, you hear the crackles and the, and the squeaks, and it, it might be nice for me to reconnect with this music on CD. And what's this last one? Right, Moondog. Uh, Moondog, as, as I hope a lot of people know, was an eccentric blind composer who um, wandered the streets wearing a Viking helmet and making extraordinary music of his own invention. I'm hoping that when I open this up, I will find that there's a little booklet inside with some cool pictures of Moondog because he was quite an extraordinary sight. I mean, this is lovely vision of him standing here with his, uh, his Viking helmet and a very straight um, uh, businessman or clerk or something walking past him wearing a suit, which uh, I think sort of sums up the best experimental music anyway, having these uh, weird and wonderful creatures who are constantly being passed by and ignored by people wearing suits. So that's what's in my bag or in my Amoeba music basket. Excellent. Well, thank you for shopping with us today. Great. Thank you. Amoeba.